Hey Libra. Oh my God, yeah. We've got the tower out with the old and with the new. <coughs> Sneeze always signifies truth. Um, so, and then we have temperance. So there is a need to resolve. There is a need for a win-win resolution here. There is a tempering. Um, so here in this deck, out, out with the old and with the new. Heaven is showing us, showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truths. And you know, for a lot of you, that's that five of wands. There's something that there's rivalry where there isn't a match. And I think there's a need to no longer fight that and find the balance within. And um, this is really about clearing. And like I said, for some of you, it's a new, it's, it's leaving behind um, even uh, resent, resentful emotions to start fresh with your emotions, showing more compassion towards communication. But again, doing away with things that just really aren't, um, aren't really serving us on a, on a soul level here. So this is the spiritual soul journey. Let's see what is the spiritual transition, the soul transitions for November for you, Libra. Journey to fulfillment. Yep. Although others may influence us, we must take charge of our own destiny. And that's the energy again, the rivalry. So even if there's conflict with, um, and then, of course, forgiveness. Yep, to offer your forgiveness to another li liberates your own heart from pain. So again, this is just letting. <laughs> I feel like this 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 is about just letting go of any resentment, um, all the rivalry, any negative influences. Again, taking charge back of our lives, re replenishing our own water at this moment Libra so and you know with Scorpio season this makes sense that's what Scorpio does Scorpio is about the death energy right the death card so I wouldn't be surprised if I see a lot of Scorpio energy coming through even though with this is the tower in this deck um but out with the old and with the new always gives me that Scorpio vibe with from this deck as well so let's see this is what you need to surrender what does Libra need to surrender Surrender your belief of scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Again, this is about removing blocks. So again, I think it's people, places, things. And for a lot of you, is people, right? Again, here at bottom, surrender the habit of people pleasing. So we're talking about people, Libra. There is a need to just balance within. There's a lot about... Um, a clearing way this is true this is truly scorpio energy about releasing you know scorpio energy is the death card so there's definitely an energy of releasing so this is the deck of what we're gonna allow what do we need to allow for ourselves so what does libra need to allow I allow myself to feel secure in all aspects of my life. And you know, that rivalry is where when we release old, we build more security. So some of this, like I said, there is an instability. These Whatever is old is causing the shakeup. And so we must take charge of our own destiny to find that fulfillment that we want and to find that security. So if, if it's also interfering with our security, then we also need to let it go. For some of us, it's a energetic emotion, um, but it has to do with allowing ourselves to feel secure in all aspects of our life. It causes that instability that is not necessary. And I feel like spirit is definitely talking um, about this. Yep. Six of cups in the bottom with the devil. So this is a lot of past energy. Some of you is just loyalty. Some of you, it's actually family where it's just toxic and it's just an energy of, like I said, truly death energy here. So we have the energy of solitude, right? Spending that time again, decisions, filling your own cup and the base chakra rerouting 
the base is about our root, it's also um, associated with, it's the red, which is the um, 3D aspect of our life, how we show up in our auto world. So there's a lot of needing to, you know, really think about so we can reevaluate ourselves and clear way. Um, so let's pull some clarifiers real quick and then we'll get some oracle messages just for this general message. All right, Spirit, can more in the solitude? Why the solitude? Page of Pentacles. And I feel like this is just you taking these steps. Page of Pentacles taking physical steps in your life, the changes that's necessary. They just need to be small. You may not know everything. The moon, two of cups, like I said, some of you, it could be a connection that you're kind of moving yourself from, or maybe also starting a conversation with someone to start new, right? Um, for some of you, is that that forgiveness? No more holding resentment here, right? To offer your forgiveness to another, liberate your own heart from pain. And in the solitude, we start making those physical changes in terms of our liberation. In the moon, is everything that's hidden, and so we have to make those decisions to really move forward if we want, you know, a relationship to start new with this Ace of Cups. Now, overall, Two of Cups is just soulmate energy in terms of family, friends, it doesn't matter. But whatever's hidden and causing fears or, again, disruption, because that's what I feel is an, it's, it's, it's a disruption to fulfillment. Our choice is fulfillment and who we align ourselves with is important. And the Two of Cups is the number two, which is High Priestess, but it also represents duality. So it's all a lesson and, and understanding that it's all leading to this decision, right? Movement choices and decisions more to a pinnacle's energy of weighing what needs to be done. Um, also, there's a, a, an energy of too much going on. So we just need to decide. And I think, you know, um, this is where you need to ask yourself what is really going to fulfill the journey the journey moving on the journey to access to all these doors if for for any of the options that are being presented to you um so let's see this movement choices and decisions here. king of cups which is really taking charge emotionally of our emotions with the hanged man and of course there was that death energy i knew it truly out with the old and with the new and it's a it's a perspective so you have to sit with yourself really trust your intuition i'm feeling and again what fills your cup libra you know finding this balance back into your life base chakra in your 3d there are things that are you are going to have to clear away that can help fill make you feel secure in all aspects of your life right because the death makes huge transitions in our life and whatever this decision is going to make is going it's for the better betterment and fulfillment of your life the security you're actually been yearning for um for whoever this energy resonates three more of the space chakra and there goes the moon again so again so many things hidden empress energy and there goes down that ground yep that energy that i said you're gonna have to find your voice and empower yourself with the empress energy again what is fulfilling the empress is abundant she rebirths something new after the death there's there's nourish there is a nourishing stage of the root chakra to rebuild um it's gonna come with uncertainty we're not always gonna know the answers but how do we create the comfort of still moving forward and that's what i feel with the seven of wands that even what well, even with the interference we can reduce that noise and move forward anyways and go for the opportunities we want right because the empress wants to bring us abundance the empress wants to help us drop everything and there goes the five of swords again right there's it's it's a win or lose situation and sometimes what we're winning is so much more than what we're losing and so there is definitely a need to again focus on the the fulfillment that that is wanted here so let's see what the six of cups is oh. Ooh, sorry guys we went so far um we've got the page of wands so a conversation you know for some of you it's 
you know what i really literally just heard with this page of wands stop communicating as well but this has to do with the inner voice about your soul's passion you know how i said you know this is about you one also showing more compassion so the communication that's needed you know it, it has to come from a space of more compassion um healing three of swords you know sun having a positive outcome i do feel and again the sun is healing so let me get more for this memories of let me apply the six of cups here i'm also hearing accepting that you're not going to be heard you have the king of swords energy right again take charge devil energy we have devil energy here so Again, cutting away, King of Swords, standing strong also in your conviction of, again, you taking charge back of your life, fulfillment, again, Empress Energy. How do we preserve and protect this energy that we're trying to really do away with if this is literally life altering with this death energy? So Scorpio season is obviously showing up here very strong in terms of literally clearing way i want to read this this here again because i feel it's really important and heaven is showing you a sign so clearly there is a sign here that it's time to move in a new direction and often this is because you're not happy and feel lack of purpose in your life this is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart's desire spiritual truth and again your ace of cups your fulfillment so what is your heart's desire and this is what i'm saying you're standing taller and stronger and finding that voice and really doing away with past energy that maybe at some point you felt a sense of loyalty but in all honesty it's not it's it no longer justifies where you're standing in your life at this moment so you know my voice i'm losing my voice so my throat chakra is 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 indicating that this is where this the, the conversation with this passion is really um, speaking from your soul and, and being genuine about it and you starting fresh from your soul. It's almost a rejuvenation because the pages are very youthful, right? As the page of Pentacles. So you've got two pages showing up here, which in really indicates it's okay to start fresh and you don't have to be this expanded energy immediately. But here is the Empress that it will lead you to this um, expansion that you're looking for, but you got to be strong with it. What do we got? The sun, exactly. So positive, positive outcome, 10 of cups in the bottom, right? Us grounding our energy because we're looking for our happiness. So let's see what this devil energy is. Ace of pentacles. And I feel um, an emperor shows up. So talk about taking charge and nine of pentacles. Again, stability. I th this really feels of taking charge and eliminating again what whatever is um, holding you back. But some of you may have Capricorn in your energy in your chart. But I feel um, Devil energy can also indicate material things because he, I'm seeing it with the Ace of Pentacles. So it can also indicate your yearning for materiality more stability and showing up with the emperor that means this is taking the lead so you taking the lead it might be an obsession at this point for some of you it's going to convert this fulfillment once you free yourself you might just be obsessed with the freedom that you're going you're about to embark and feel that's why here that once that forgiveness right the release of that devil energy happens it will offer your you know to offer your forgiveness forgiveness to another liberates your own heart from pain it will liberate and open up this new ace of pentacles this new life that we're talking about again which is what i was re referencing from the root chakra so you'll be more stable within yourself nine of pentacles when you're standing as a nine of pentacles nobody it, it, there's no interfering at this point you're so grounded within your own energy you found the fulfillment and there you have in everything you need even in terms of how you feel on the inside when you're on the nine of pentacles because in nine of pentacles is long-term investment it's your commitment to yourself the pentacles take takes a long time to to be fertilized you have to fertilize it which is that empress energy that we're talking about so you know, as long as you guys nurture that space for yourself, then, you know, you know what you need to do. 
So let's see what the abundance energy is for what is the abundance message for November for Libra. Words of abundance. You have the ability ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. So again, this is about optimism and staying positive at this at this point. Um, so okay, we're gonna move on to the love message energy that I got during meditation. So Libra. Now, in terms of love, what I picked up during meditation was that there will be a union. So again, it might, for some of you, it's some of this competition that's in the way. Um, but I feel a union coming in and there, or a cycle closing, but there's something about of a, a barrier that needs to be put down and a change. There is a change so and surrendering so again i feel the forgiveness is very big here still too um yeah pause eight of pentacles came out so it's um, making the effort as well wow and there goes that stand your ground so again we're back to the voice and you know spirit is basically giving similar messages for those um who really need to nurture that voice um even in their love connections if if those the two of cups that we saw earlier for those of you had to do with um uh an actual relationship you know if if it's a connection that you feel you've put so much effort in but you are ready to kind of make big decisions and bold decisions about the relationship so let's get more about that energy um spirit so give me more of this energy in love for Libra. Okay, more of that energy for Libra. Oof. You guys, we've got let go of control issue issues, which I do feel some of that devil energy. Release your ex very soon, past life relationship. So this is that breakup that I feel. Um, and this is a, a, a connection you've been with. So there is a there's an energy here of you guys been committed for some time invested or even invested for a long time and in this card here clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and again it's that death energy again i'm feeling the strong scorpio energy here but the control needs to be released because at this point when we're in scorpio season things will eventually fall away um, and the universe is bringing us that energy so we can make those decisions as well. So let's see what else we've got for this energy of love for Libra. Jeez. All right. The world wanted to show up, which, yes, it will be a new cycle because, right, out with the old and with the new. Oh my goodness. Wow, you guys, the same cards. I'm going to take them. And there goes that devil. Uh, spirit doesn't lie here. So we've got six of cups again solitude five of swords and the awareness this is the same energy main energy we had before you guys remember was the five of wands five of wands and now we have five of swords so again representing the conflict and defeat that needs to be released awareness is the magician and us knowing that we are the alchemizers of our life and our, our memories here, Six of Cups, are lessons of our connections. In this case, definitely a past life relationship, an ex or someone with a lot of history um, is uh, in the forefront here in terms of having to make some changes about and make big decisions because there is a need to make a decision here. So the clarity is very apparent Libra that is going to come in solitude again whatever this devil energy um, is for you guys and balance so justice is here there will be balance that will be um, provided when you come to terms with how you feel um, and again releasing control for the some of you it's understand is, is an acceptance of things are done and others of you is an acceptance of needing to just forgive and find your way to be fulfilled 
and move on. If, if this person is going to remain in your energy, then there's something that needs to be resolved within yourself so you can have a clear mind on whether you want to keep going with them and continue another life cycle or another cycle with them or again out with the old right um so let's see what this memories of love is Mary, can we more on this memories of love okay we're on this memories of love wow there was the again positive we said eight of this is the making effort we saw the eight of pentacles that fell off lovers in the bottom and there goes that moon energy so a decision for sure about your relationship here and again this is lover so a lot of lovers um past life energy here deep soulmate energy um someone has to probably make a decision of letting someone go energetically so to have a new beginning as well so some of you those who are single and just energetically need to clear so you can alchemize and change your life really bring about the change for others of you again it's it's revisiting a connection this is really holding you back nine of swords so there is an, a, a setback here of needing to make a decision and really making an effort for yourself i feel libra in terms of what your needs are your person obviously this is mutual energy your person um for some of you this is your person where they are very regretful and remorseful and really are thinking about coming back together with the six of cups reconciliation right so give me more of the solitude the separation is definitely teaching lo huge lessons here give me more of the solitude energy cancer energy oh, too much spirit you guys could be dealing with a gemini because you've got strong gemini here virgo cancer all right give me more of this solitude this hermit energy so with the chariot is again decide and look at that high priestess we spoke about earlier about duality right two of cups two of cups talks about our our connections right our souls and our and our biggest soul lessons are always our relationships our relationships is what brings the dualities in our lives right the people in our lives and so this is about really going and tapping into that intuition there goes that tower energy right we mentioned tempering ourselves tempering our soul tempering our energy figuring out what is it that we really want um you guys could be dealing with a, a pisces as well but there's a lot that's happening in the silence you guys obviously are spending a lot of time alone and um a decision is needing needing to be made because the chariot can go either direction as well so let's see what this conflict and defeat is i feel self-inflicted with this conflict and defeat um very eight of swords energy there we go four of cups um we want this conflict four of four of wands and the sun and there goes that seven of swords and there goes the hermit again so i feel with the seven of swords it is self-inflicted four of cups energy with right we're we're not we're focusing on the wrong thing and at this point again i do feel this energy of forgiveness and the release of needing to let go right the time has come to clear your energy so it's time to come to clear your energy if you really want to meet this relationship this commitment or come back into this union and forgiveness is necessary and it's almost dropping all all conversations i think also uh the conversation that we were talking like earlier with the overall energy in the general read about finding your voice and showing more compassion here so in order to get out of this four of cups energy there needs to be you know honesty clarity nothing hides under the sun so truth exists in the sun and an honest conversation a willingness because this is only going to happen if you're willing a willingness to be in this magician and alchemize what you've learned because the magician is all experienced all everything takes action knows what to do and so you will know what to do when you're embodying 
your magician energy in integrity as always because i'm all about integrity but always magician is very powerful if operated out of integrity so it's very good around this magician that page of wands wanted to come out so again the conversation the communication we want this magician oh my goodness libra Guys are not making this easy for me. All right, so Ten of Swords, right? The mental conflict. Magician again. What did I tell you guys? There goes that death energy. Scorpio energy is going to be very strong, I can imagine, in all the reads. Five of Pentacles. And again, so there we go. We got our King and Queen of Cups here. And and look at how I'm holding them facing opposite direction. And only you guys out of this conversation can really clear way so either definitely separation because it's the best thing if you're both gonna feel this five of pentacles unsatisfied unfulfilled right because we're talking about journey to fulfillment allow others uh, although others may influence us we must take charge of our own destiny and so if it's still lacking fulfillment then then these two need to part ways it's not emotionally satisfying but death can mean new right out with the old in with the new and so we can create a new new connection here where we can align ourselves but you know mentally ton of swords we have here as well so there's a lot about endings here um and you guys are going to know where you stand in terms of your energy but i feel this is going to give you again intuitive nudge back with the hermit in solitude which direction to go with this high priestess you got to kind of sit with yourself i feel this is a very soul because hermit is shown here twice this is going to be a soul searching truly deep soul searching to decide right clearly very soon at some point you will and it doesn't and, and it's okay not to have all the answers at the moment so if this is a message or guidance or, an, or a message for an intuitive nudge for you um those in resonating with this message libra and you know what to do so spirit what else what is the blockage for this connection yep cuffing season finding winter's warmth and beliefs your beliefs are keeping you stuck and i feel this is an energy of wanting to come back <laughs> And your beliefs, some of you, is an attachment that you need to be with your person and not willing to let each other go. And some of you, this is the interference, the blockage, right? Because these are blockages. This is the interference. The belief systems of both of you are very different, which causes the conflict and doesn't allow you guys to really unite, um, which, you know, peace needs to be tranquility. Take it slow. Take your, you know, slow down. Just take it slow. And there's a need for peaceful resolution here. So let's see what else. What is some guidance? What is the guidance for Libra here? What guidance can we give for this connection for Libra? Again, trust your intuition. We're back with the intuition. High priestess energy. Time to go within. Hermit energy as well. You have a strong sense of knowing what is right for you. Have trust in your own inner knowing and wisdom. Your inner guidance is never wrong. So again, this is about going within and really finding that space within yourself as we all. Let's see what the message and guidance from Source is. This is the self-love message and guidance from Source for you, Libra. What does Source wants you to know? A wound from childhood is at the heart of the matter. Look deeply and reveal the next layer of wisdom within the wound. Wow, I've never got this card. It's so rare for me to get this to you guys. For you or your person, this can go so, so much deeper, which is why I was saying earlier, there is a need for overall um, to deal with and show more compassion towards ourselves, our self-love and replenish our water. And this connection for some of you it's with your connections and so the wound is what's keeping a lot of the interference here so in order to find that interference and find again a joyful more fulfillment in our lives a wound from a childhood is at the heart of the matter so it's time to look deeply again spirit is talking a lot about looking deeply again hermit energy twice hermit has come out in this same reading in your general read 
has to do with our past connections six of cups came out in your general now in your love so definitely look deeply and reveal the next layer of wisdom within the, the wounds and that next layer is the new will be the new here um libra so okay libra i'm gonna leave it there